I want you to, whenever you want, you're gonna reach behind and just grab and just grab my neck. So I'm I'm talking to the guy, hey, back off, back off, man, take it easy. <laughs> Look, you've already got, now don't move, don't move, stay there. Okay. So check this out, he's already here, my gun isn't out here, but now check this out, make a fist, okay? And now, keep it there, I'm gonna move my head, make a okay. fist, okay. watch what I'm showing everyone here. His hand was way behind my head, had that been a short hook punch, I'd have already been dropped. And you know as a martial artist that if I go and I hit the guy and there's a flash knockout, and so this is kind of like an isolation demo that if I can go here and get my hand on the guy's head here before he can move, that's simulating if I can scoop your head, I can hit your chin. Mr. Jones and I are up on the sidewalk and I ask him to turn around and put his hands behind his, his back and let him know I'm in a handcuff him, and he decides to punch me in the head then he's decided that we're going to get more physical. Or if Mr. Jones decides to pull out a knife and come running at me, now he's again decided that now we're in a deadly force situation. Police officers are always in uh, that reactive state and we are reacting to the citizen that we're trying to deal with.